dear students uh, in this lecture we will continue the problems of uh, exercise 9c so uh, means it is the, the continuation of the uh, previous lecture so up to uh, fifth problem we did in the previous lecture now so we will solve from sixth and roman 2 so sixth one uh, find dy by dx if y equals to 1 minus 2x all to the power of 2 by 3 into 1 plus 3x all to the power of minus 3 by 4 whole divided by 1 minus 6x to the power of 5 by 6 into 1 plus 7x all to the power of minus 6 by 7 now so how to find uh, say the solution for uh, this problem or how to find the derivative of this problem see so this is in the form of u by v right so you need to apply uh, u by v so that is uh, the quotient rule and uh, in the numerator it is like a product also in the denominator also product so if you apply the derivative for this uh, quotient then so the simplification may be so complicate so if the simplification is complicated uh, better go with the substitution method or logarithm method okay logarithm differentiation so if you apply the logarithm on both sides then so this may be in the form of log of a divided by log b and uh, so it is log of a into b in the numerator right so better apply the logarithm on both sides so apply the logarithm on both sides this is a uh, log y which is equals to logarithm of logarithm of this entire uh, quantity it is a uh, 1 minus 2x whole to the power of 2 by 3 into 1 plus 3x whole to the power of minus 3 by 4 whole divided by 1 minus 6x whole to the power of 5 by 6 into 1 plus 7x whole to the power of minus 6 by 7 right uh, logarithm of y uh, which is equals to it is in the form of log a by b log of a by b is nothing but log a minus log b right so this is a log of a a means uh, the numerator part that is 1 minus 2x all to the power of 2 by 3 into 1 plus 3x all to the power of minus 3 by 4 minus this denominator that is a logarithm of 1 minus 6x all to the power of 5 by 6 into 1 plus 7x all to the power of minus 6 by 7 now uh, this is uh, again a logarithm of a into b form log of a into b is log a plus log b so this is 1 minus 2x all to the power of power 2 by 3 plus logarithm of 1 plus 3x all to the power of minus 3 by 4 again it is a minus again log of a into b so it is log a plus log b but also multiply with a negative sign therefore it is a logarithm of 1 minus 6x all to the power of 5 by 6 minus logarithm of 1 plus 7x all to the power of minus 6 by 7 now this is a uh, log of x to the power of n so by power rule in uh, logarithms log of x to the power of n can be written as n into log x right uh, this is uh, 2 by 3 into logarithm of 1 minus 2x plus this is a minus 3 by 4 into log of 1 plus 3x so here you can apply for uh, all uh, powers like it is a uh, minus 5 by 6 times of logarithm of 1 minus 6x now minus and uh, so this is the minus 6 by 7 into logarithm of 1 plus 7x so this is our uh, log of y right now differentiate on both sides with respect to x so this is uh, 1 by y into the derivative of y means dy by dx which is 2 by 3 into derivative of log x is 1 by 1 minus 2x derivative of log x means 1 by x into derivative of this is minus 2 minus 3 by 4 into log of 1 plus 3x is 1 by 1 plus 3x into derivative of 1 plus 3x is 3 only since derivative of 1 is 0 and 3x derivative is 3 minus 5 by 6 times of 
so this is log of 1 minus 6x so 1 minus uh, 1 divided by 1 minus 6x into minus 6 now minus into minus it is plus 6 by 7 times of log of 1 plus 7x that is 1 by 1 plus 7x into 7 now so dy by dx is equals to now so cross multiply uh, this way so that it is a y times of now what will happen so 2 into minus 2 so this is minus 4 divided by 3 times of 1 minus 2x minus uh, 9 divided by 4 times of 1 plus 3x plus so it is a uh, 6 and 6 will be gets cancelled minus into minus so plus 5 divided by 1 minus 6x and here it is a uh, 7 and 7 also gets cancelled uh, finally it is 6 divided by 1 plus 7x so this is uh, the derivative for the given function by using logarithms now so one more problem uh, from the same bit so that is uh, uh, y equals to square root of x minus 3 into x square plus 4 divided by 3x square plus 4x plus 5 so again better apply the logarithm so taking logarithm on both sides uh, this is a uh, log y is equals to this is a uh, logarithm of the square root, uh, root can be written as a uh, power 1 by 2 right so here i'm writing this as x minus 3 into x square plus 4 divided by 3x square plus 4x plus 5 to the power of to the power of 1 by 2 so by power rule now we can express it as 1 by 2 into log of a by b z so this is a logarithm of x minus 3 into x square plus 4 minus so finally it is a 1 by 2 times of uh, it is a log of 3x square plus 4x plus 5 this is a 1 by 2 times of here log of a into b form this is log of a into b so logarithm of a plus logarithm of b that is log of x minus 3 plus logarithm of x square plus 4 minus logarithm of so 3x square plus 4x plus 5 this is uh, finally 1 by 2 times of so logarithm of y so differentiate on both sides with respect to x uh, so that it is 1 by y into dy by dx 1 by 2 times of now derivative of uh, log x minus 3 this is 1 by x minus 3 into derivative of x minus 3 is 1 so plus derivative of x square plus 4 is 1 by x square plus 4 into into derivative of x square plus 4 is 2x plus 4 is 0 minus log of this so log of u means a log of 1 by u form so 3x square plus 4x plus 5 into derivative of 3x square plus 4x plus 5 right so 3x square means it is 6x plus derivative of 4x is 4 derivative of 5 is 0 Right, it is a dy by dx is equals to now so cross multiply with this y so this is y by 2 times of 1 by x minus 3 plus 2x divided by x square plus 4 minus 6x plus 4 divided by 3x square plus 4x plus 5 so the third roman first bit the first problem so here we need to find the derivatives for the uh, given functions so here uh, the function is y equals to sin x power log x plus x to the power of sin x so uh, already we know how to evaluate the derivative of uh, this and uh, this so they are like uh, u plus v the derivative of u plus v model right so first find the derivative of this u and derivative of v so then uh, add uh, both the things so we may get a dy by dx so before that uh, let let u equals to sin x power log x 
and v v equals to x to the power of sin x. So that the given function uh, which becomes y equals to u plus v, right? U plus v. So we know u and v are functions of x. So if we differentiate on both sides with respect to x, this is dy by dx is equals to derivative of u plus derivative of v means du by dx plus dv by dx. So here what you have to do is so uh, find the derivative of this u and uh, derivative of v. So substitute here. So let it be this is equation 1. So separately find the derivative of u and derivative of v and uh, substitute over here. So we, we will get uh, the derivative of y with respect to x. Now so find out the derivative of u first. u equals to sin x power log x. Now so this is in the form of f of x to the power of g of x. So f of x power g of x derivative by using the uh, logarithmic differentiation so we can evaluate uh, the derivative of this u so taking logarithm on both sides log of u is equals to logarithm of sin x all to the power of log x now by power rule uh, uh, which can be expressed as uh, log x into log x into log of sin x right log of sin x this is a uh, logarithm of u now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. So the derivative of u is 1 by u into du by dx since uh, u is a function of x. So here you need to treat uh, this u as a function of x. So already we know this is a function of x right. So that uh, you need to apply the derivative for inner function u. Now which is uh, u into v form. Then it is a log x into derivative of log x means it is 1 by sin x into derivative of sin x is cos x plus now this into derivative of this that means uh, log of sin x into derivative of log x is 1 by x say so this is a product rule u into v dash plus v into u dash form uh, finally uh, this is a du by dx is equals to u times of uh, log x into cos by sin this is cot x plus logarithm of sin x by sin x whole divided by x so now we have uh, du by dx du by dx into choosing du by dx is equals to u u means sin x power log x times of this is a cot x into logarithm of x plus logarithm of sin x by x. So now we have a, a du by dx. So find a, a dv by dx. So here v is what uh, v is x power sin x and find the derivative of v. So here v is x to the power of sin x. So similarly apply the logarithm on both sides log or ln no problem so this is a log you can change no problem so logarithm of v is equals to logarithm of x to the power of sin x now logarithm of v which is equals to sin x into log x now differentiate on both sides uh, with respect to x with respect to x so that it is a 1 by v into derivative of v is dv by dx since v is a function of x now this is a uh, sin x into derivative of log x is 1 by x plus log x into derivative of sin x is cos x finally this is a uh, dv by dx is equals to v in cross multiplication so v times of sin x by x plus log x into cos x now this is uh, dv by dx is v what is v v is x to the power of sin x so x to the power of sin x times of sin x by x plus so this is log x into cos x or cos x into log x now so here uh, uh, 
we get uh, du by dx and dv by dx, dv by dx, dv by dx. But uh, what we have to find? We need to find uh, the derivative of y with respect to x. So replace uh, du by dx and dv by dx in equation one. So we get uh, the derivative of y with respect to x. So finally, this is from equation one. Substitute these two values in equation one. So we get dy by dx. dy by dx is equals to so instead of du by dx, uh, replace this one. That is sin x power log x times of cot x into log x plus log of sin x whole divided by x plus plus dv by dx. dv by dx means x to the power of sin x times of sin x by x plus cos x into logarithm of x. So this is the final answer for the given function y equal to sin x power log x plus x to the power of sin x. So this means we are, uh, we are applying uh, the sum rule. That's it. So you can put term extra on no problem. So like sin x power log x plus x to the power of sin x plus x power log x. So first uh, try to find the derivatives for uh, individual functions. u, v, w and substitute in dy by dx. Now the second problem from the same bit. So y equals to x to the power of x to the power of x. So this is x power x power x, not x power x all to the power of x. See uh, in the previous lecture we did a problem like uh, x power x all power x, and that is uh, different from this, right? So these two x power x power x is not equals to may, may not be may or may not be equals to x to the power of x to the power of x so this can be written as x power x square but we cannot express this as x power x square okay now we need to find the uh, solution for this problem or the derivative for this one so differentiate on uh, both sides with respect to x so before that you need to take it as a uh, logarithm on both sides so taking logarithm on both sides, logarithm of y which is equals to now so we can write uh, this as logarithm of x to the power of x to the power of x. Now so log y is equals to now so this is log of a power m let it be it is m. So by power rule of logarithm we can write it as x to the power of x into log x right. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. So that it is a 1 by y into dy by dx equals to derivative of this. So x to the power of x into d by dx of log x plus log x into derivative of x to the power of x. Derivative of x to the power of x. So all of x to the power of x derivative is solid system. Now so it is uh, dy by dx is equals to which is equals to y cross multiplication of y times of so x to the power of x into log x derivative is 1 by x plus log x into now derivative of x to the power of x derivative of x to the power of x is x power x into 1 plus log x so it's already one of the well, let me decide the cases one. so derivative of x to the power of x is x power x into 1 plus log x now here what is uh, y? y means x to the power of x to the power of x times of x to the power of x into x to the power of minus 1 plus so here it is not into this is log x into so we can express it as x to the power of x into logarithm of x into 1 plus log x okay now so in this x to the power of x is common x power x power x into x power x common this one and x power minus 1 would common this end no problem so this is x power x x power minus 1 common this is a 1 into now here x power x only there so the remaining x power minus 1 not, uh, one is not included here so we can write it as 1 by x power minus 1 means it is x into log x into 1 plus log x so this one can be written as log e no problem with it so log e is nothing but one only so log e plus log x 
now see here you can observe uh, see here yeah, the bases are same right so we can add all the uh, add the powers like it is x power x power x plus x minus 1 x power a into x power b and then x power a plus b so here uh, the bases are same so we can add the powers times of 1 plus x into log x into log a plus log b log a plus log b is logarithm of a into b this is the derivative of x to the power of x to the power of x is this one yesterday uh, in the previous class it is different that is x power x whole power x here it is x to the power of x whole to the power of not all so it is x power x power x now second uh, bit first problem if x to the power of y plus y to the power of x equals to a to the power of b then find dy by dx then show that uh, dy by dx equals to this one so it is a minus of y into x to the power of y minus 1 plus y to the power of x into logarithm of y whole divided by x to the power of y into log x plus x into y to the power of x minus 1. So again it is a f power g plus g power f model equals to a to the power of b. a to the power of b is a constant. So there a and b are constants. So let uh, uh, x power y is u and uh, y power x is v and uh, differentiate both the things. So we will get uh, dy by dx. Finally, we need to get uh, dy by dx, right? Uh, let u equals to let u equals to x to the power of y and uh, v equals to y to the power of x. So here x power y now x to the power of y plus y to the power of x equals to a to the power of a, a to the power of b, which becomes u plus v equals to a to the power of b. Differentiate on both sides with respect to x. So we will get uh, this is uh, du by dx plus dv by dx equals to derivative of constant is 0. So let it be equation 1. If we find uh, du by dx and dv by dx, so we may get uh, dy by dx. Since uh, u and v are functions of x and uh, the variables x and y are included for that. Now find out uh, du by dx. So here u is x to the power of y, right? Now, so taking logarithm on both sides, logarithm of u equals to this is a y into log x, right? Or log of x to the power of y means y into log x. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x, so that it is 1 by u into derivative of u means du by dx, which is now y into derivative of log x is 1 by x plus log x into derivative of y means dy by dx. Uh, here it is uh, du by dx is equals to u times of y by x plus log x into dy by dx. Okay, and uh, finally it is u. U means x to the power of y so if possible you can replace x to the power of y into so this is y by x plus log x into dy by dx we have a du by dx value similarly you can you can evaluate uh, uh, dv by dx so here uh, we have a v right x to the power of y sorry already x to the power of y is over now so this is uh, y equals to hmm, v equals to v equals to y to the power of x this one sorry v equals to y to the power of x so taking logarithm on both sides for this also uh, logarithm of v which is x into log y now differentiate on both sides with respect to x so that it is 1 by v into dv by dx is equals to x into derivative of log y is 1 by y into derivative of y is dy by dx plus logarithm of y into derivative of x is 1 uh, we get a dv by dx dv by dx equals to v times of x by y into dy by dx plus logarithm of y log y so v into here v is 
y to the power of x into x by y into dy by dx plus log y dv by dx is this one now uh, here you can uh, substitute these two values dv by dx and du by dx in equation 1 so we get uh, the derivative of y with respect to x dy by dx now so replace du by dx and dv by dx with these values so finally this is x to the power of y x to the power of y into y into x to the power of minus 1 y power x minus 1 plus log x into dy by dx plus dv by dx is this one so it is uh, y power x into x into y to the power of minus 1 into dy by dx plus logarithm of y and finally this is a 0 right now so simplify this this implies uh, x power y into this so y into x to the power of y into x power minus 1 is x to the power of y minus 1 plus x to the power of y into log x into dy by dx plus y power x into x into y power minus 1 is x into y to the power of x minus 1 into dy by dx plus y power x into this so y power x into logarithm of y equal to 0 now so we need to separate the dy by dx terms uh, here we can express this as dy by dx dy by dx so dy by dx times of dy by dx times of x to the power of y into log x plus x into y to the power of x minus 1 so the remaining part right to transpose this is so that it is a uh, minus of minus and this is also minus minus of y into x to the power of y minus 1 plus y power x into log y now so then uh, dividing on both sides with uh, this uh, entire part we will get uh, dy by dx is equal to minus of y into x to the power of y minus 1 plus y to the power of x into logarithm of y whole divided by this one this is x to the power of y into log x plus x into y to the power of x minus 1 so this is the derivative of dy the given function x to the power of y plus y to the power of x equals to a to the power of b then second problem uh, if f of x equals to sin inverse of square root of x minus beta by alpha minus beta and g of x is tan inverse of square root of x minus beta by alpha minus x then show that uh, f prime of x equals to g prime of x f of x is this one and g of x is some other function but uh, so we need to show the derivatives of f and g are same so better simplify f and uh, g first here the derivative of f and g are same means here in order to show f and g are same functions so first uh, you need to show f and g are same then also no problem if f and g are same therefore their uh, corresponding derivatives are also same now what is the uh, given f of x here f of x is now the given f of x is sine inverse of square root of x minus beta by alpha minus beta right so by the definition of uh, inverse sine function now we can write it as sine of f of x sine of f of x equal to square root of x minus beta by alpha minus beta now squaring on both sides squaring on both sides we will get the sine square of f of x sine square f of x equals to x minus beta by alpha minus beta now so we have a sine square f of x value so sine square f of x is this one so by using this we can express cos square also right now we can find cos square f of x cos square f of x is equals to 1 minus sine square of f of x so there is an identity that is regarding sine and cos sine square x plus cos square x equals to 1 right so cos square f of x can be written as like this 
so here 1 minus sin square f of x means x minus beta by alpha minus beta this is so here the LCM is alpha minus beta now alpha minus beta minus x plus beta so here beta and beta will be gets cancelled so cos square cos square f of x is this one or you can write uh, so cos square f of x value is alpha minus x divided by alpha minus beta okay now we have a sin square x value cos square x value so uh, we can evaluate uh, tan right now we can evaluate uh, tan square f of x tan square f of x is nothing but sin square by cos square sin square f of x divided by cos square f of x so replace sin square and cos square values sin square value is uh, x minus beta by alpha minus beta x minus beta divided by alpha minus beta whole divided by alpha minus x divided by alpha minus beta so both the denominators are same so alpha minus beta and alpha minus beta gets cancelled now the tan square f of x is this right now uh, here we can write uh, tan f of x is tan of f of x is equals to square root of x minus beta by alpha minus x now so by the inverse uh, functions f of x equals to we can write it as tan inverse of square root of x minus beta by alpha minus x so already given this is a uh, tan inverse of root of x minus beta by alpha minus x is g of x so we can replace this with g of x so left hand side is f of x and the right hand side is g of x means both f and g are same functions if we differentiate on both sides with respect to x therefore therefore f prime of x is equals to g prime of x so here uh, f of x is sin inverse of this and uh, g of x is tan inverse of this but their uh, derivatives are same means uh, both the functions are same Yeah, this is the last problem from uh, this exercise. Third one, if a greater than b greater than 0 and uh, x is lies between 0 and pi and f of x value is a square minus b square all to the power of minus 1 by 2 into cos inverse of a cos x plus b divided by a plus b cos x. Then uh, find f prime of x. Uh, then show that f prime of x equals to a plus b cos x all to the power of minus 1 now the given function is f of x is this one so differentiate this with respect to x so that it is f prime of x in equals to a square plus a square minus b square all to the power of minus 1 by 2 is a constant so this is a constant multiple root so it is as it is into d by dx of cos inverse of this is a cos x plus b divided by a plus b cos x so here means uh, you need to find the derivative of this part only the derivative is to dsn so already we did this problem in the previous exercise so here i'm uh, writing the direct answer for this so a square minus b square all to the power of minus 1 by 2 into the derivative of this is already done in the previous exercise so the answer for this derivative is root of a square minus b square by a plus b cos x into this now so a square minus b square all to the power of minus 1 by 2 into a square plus sorry a square minus b square all to the power of plus 1 by 2 by a plus b into cos x so this is a a power uh, a square minus b square power minus 1 by 2 and a square plus uh, minus b square all power plus 1 by 2 so the bases are same so we can add the powers so minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 that is 0 something power 0 is 1 finally it is 1 divided by a plus b cos x here 1 by a form so we can write it as a inverse means it is a plus b cos x whole inverse f prime of x equals to this one so the derivative of a given function f of x is a plus b cos x whole power minus 1 or 1 by a plus b cos x 
So the previous uh, exercise is Jason Student. Uh, dear students, I hope you understand uh, the concepts of uh, differentiations and the methods of differentiations. And so these are the uh, problems from exercise 9C. And uh, so do the remaining problems uh, in the exercise. Thank you.